Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the Duke Minecraft and I have something really cool to show to you today. Um, so this is a piston modern house that I've made. Um, I've done my best at least to make it look like a modern house. Um, Mumbo Jumbo has been putting out a bunch of like piston house things recently and I've really liked them. And it's inspired me to make my own. Um, I did make one with Mobbin a little bit ago and I wanted to try my hand at doing another style. So Mumbo Jumbo made a piston barn, and so I tried to make a piston modern house, kind of like a mansion or something. But yeah, the exterior here is basically aesthetic. There are some redstone contraptions, but most of it's all downstairs, so the top floor is pretty much aesthetic. Um, but yeah, so there is a fence around the whole thing you might notice. Um, and that is for mob protection. If we hit that button, we get a lot of frame rate droppage, uh, but we also get two giant sand doors that pop out of the ground. So that's really cool. And now we're completely safe in here. No mobs are going to be able to get in here that we don't want. And then you can just hit the button and you can open up those two doors again. Why do I have two of them instead of just one? Um, good question. Okay, so here is the front door. It's just a sand door design I made where the sand gets popped up with slime blocks and then you can you can drop it down and yeah, I really like it. Um, but yes, okay. Maybe first let's just look at some of the aesthetics in the house. Like upstairs we got a balcony, some armor. Down there there's some more stairs. I'm just going to run through everything real quick. Here's the bedroom. Modern bed that's like an L or something <laughs> uh, again this is my first modern house I'm not very good at interior decoration so yeah this is the only redstone upstairs just a simple shower um, and a toilet but, yeah but yes let's take a look at the downstairs so down here we've got a toilet that you can actually flush yourself down by moving the cauldron and you just get some basic secret storage in here you know, some of this basic storage. That's pretty much all there is in there. Um, and yeah, you can just get flushed down it like that. Um, and then over here, if we go onto the couch and throw a block, a secret furnace room opens up. And why is it a room of furnaces? Because why wouldn't you want a room of furnaces? And then you can smelt all the stuff you ever wanted. Um, I guess that's pretty much all you can do with it, but you know, that's okay. Um, but yeah, if we try to click any of these buttons, or they're rocks actually. These are rocks, not buttons. They go with the aesthetics. <laughs> if you try to hit any of them, they won't do anything right now. But if you put a block in there, in the into there real quick, it'll open up the secret thing, which will automatically shut behind you. And then you can come down here. So down here, I've put in Mumbo Jumbo's um, item frame combo lock selector thing. And what this does is basically I put it so you have to enter the right combination. So let's put these like this. Basically, it's a simple combination, all the arrows pointing at each other. And once you do that, by the way, if you guys haven't seen Mumbo's tutorial for this, I would definitely go check it out. It's a really cool invention. Um, and the redstone is really compact for that too. But yeah, so you can shut that up again. I keep saying that. You can shut that door after you when you're done with it. Um, and now if we come over to these rocks and you click on that one, then the floor over here does something interesting. Oh man. <laughs> so it opens up a secret um, stairway downwards and it's a little ugly because there's a bunch of fence gates in your face but it works and it's good enough for me um, but yeah so you can come down here grab your notes and bows have a jolly good time and then when you're done with that just run on back up you can even hit this button if you want with the uh, yeah okay <laughs> so then I shut it after you Come back down here and screw up the combo. Oop, 
and throw a pumpkin on the floor while you're at it. Um, screw up the combo so no one will ever know how to get back in there. And then grab your pumpkin again. Whoop. And then this is kind of time consuming actually. But maybe you want that much protection. Your notes and bows deserve it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this project. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.